So in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Raspberry Pi um, SD card. If you want to switch between different operating systems, or you just want to take a snapshot of sort of what work you've done so far without losing all of your efforts, um, first thing you're going to need is software called Win32 Disk Imager. Um, go to this site is a good recommended one. Download the software and um, download that to your machine and run the execute. Okay, so start the software up. Um, this is the same software that you use to write your image in the first place, but instead of writing an image, we're going to be reading from um, an SD card to create an image. So go down to your Raspberry Pi and run the command sudo shutdown uh, space now. What that will do is it will do a controlled shutdown of your um, Raspberry Pi, shut down all the services safely, um, give it about three minutes uh, maximum and then go over to the device, unplug it and then you can then safely pull out your SD card. Okay, so now that you've taken your SD card, um, slot that into your laptop or PC and you need to go to um, Windows and go and type in computer management, load that up and what we want to do is we want to see to make sure that we can see the full disk so we'll see here I've got my um, F drive the first half of the drive is a 75 megabyte FAT32 um, which is for the ARM chip and then the 14 uh, almost 15 gig um, partition at the back is for the Linux um, which is actually your Debian OS if you open up the SD card you should be able to see the entire contents of the card in there so what you want to do is um, Select where you want to save your image. I'm going to call this snapshot Debian 1. So it's just a snapshot of where I'm currently at with my um, Debian build. I'm going to click save and then I'm going to click read. And what that's going to do is it's going to read from the SD card and create um, a, an image file um, which you can later reverse the process. Now, mine's a 16 gigabyte USB, uh, an SD card, so it's going to take a very, very long time for the image to actually um, be processed. So I'm going to pause the video at this point so you don't have to watch the um, entire thing happening. So once it's completed, you'll see you, that you'll get this read successful message. Just um, OK that message. And if we then look at our desktop and we look at the properties of the snapshot file that's been created, we'll see that it's the size of around uh, 15 gigabytes. And if we try and look at this in a um, zip program, we can see the FAT32 part of the front and the Linux image. There we go. So when I first tried to do this process, I ran into a bit of a strange problem. When I plugged in my um, SD card into my laptop using the SD card reader like this built into the laptop, um, when I plugged it into the computer, I could only see the front 75 megabyte um, FAT32 partition. I couldn't see the other half, the um, sort of 14, 15 gig um, Linux partition. So the way I fixed this was I went out and I bought an external SD card reader, one of these. It cost about three quid from um, eBay. Um, so what I did was I plugged this into my laptop and I found that when it read the SD card, it could actually see the other half of um, our image. It seemed to get around the problem I was um, encountering. I understand it's a bit of a pain if you don't have one of these kicking around the house and you really want to make a backup, but it is a bit of a, a last ditch attempt and a bit of a last get out clause if you do run into that problem I encountered. Hope that you found this tip useful.